What's going on guys? My name's Long Sensation and today what I've got for you guys is the patch notes for the 1.08 patch updates on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. If you guys want to see the full patch notes as always there'll be a link down in the description below. For this video I will be covering more of the biggest changes that have come to the 1.08 patch and of course the biggest and most notable change is the fact that Nuketown and the Nuketown personalized Asian pack is now free for everybody. As well as this, Treyarch have also added a 24-7 playlist for Nuketown, so of course if you've just downloaded it then you can play it for 24-7 and that is something that is going to last for the next 7 days, so that is something to bear in mind. Now, in regards to the patch, very very quickly I do want to talk about it, the patch was around 10 gigabytes long and a lot of people are confused in regards to what features was added and quite simply I think they're prepared Preparing to add more DLC weapons. The DLC weapons are likely to be in the code somewhere. I'm going to do a bit of digging around and stuff like that for you guys. Try and find out what the new weapons are. And as well as this, they're likely preparing for DLC number two. So definitely expect a lot more leaks coming over the course of the next couple of days and weeks. But anyway, guys, taking a look at the patch notes. Of course, there will be a link down in the description below. So you guys can read on every single point as you wish. And well, we know that a lot of these things that have been introduced in this patch have already been implemented in hotfixes over the course of the past couple of weeks. So things such as the anti-up perk that would continue to work when a player switched to a class without it. That has now been patched. The MR6 has reduced max fire rate. Of course, we've known that now for a couple of weeks. And the ICR has received increased accuracy, which has essentially made it into a laser beam. As I said, a lot of these patch notes are from all the hotfixes we've received over the course of the past couple of weeks. In regards to game mode safeguard, there has been a few changes there with the safeguard robots that will now not kind of run across the map as we've been seeing some funny, funny uh, videos online and stuff and also where the safeguard robot would get stuck. That has now been fixed. In regards to maps, Fringe, Gauntlet, Rise, Splash and Skyjacked, a lot of issues have been fixed on those maps in regards to some glitches of course because most of these are DLC 1 maps. There is usually a lot of glitches and well those have now been fixed. In regards to score streaks, the Hardened Sentry, they fixed a bug where players were able to keep a Hardened Sentry active while it was being carried. They've also fixed the counter UAV where an issue where multiple aircraft could be destroyed by splash damage within a close proximity and that is also the same for the UAV. So essentially people could take out both the counter UAV and the UAV with one rocket launcher or of course multiple UAVs or counter UAVs and well that has now been fixed. In regards to specialists, Nomad has had a few changes but they're kind of more internal changes in regards to some disconnect problems when people would die from the hive gun when uh, they're playing on a dedicated server. No idea why that was even in the game. But well, that is pretty much it. As I said, this patch was massive. It was 10 gigabytes long and I think that, like I said before, they've likely introduced some DLC weapons that will be unlocked tomorrow or maybe next week. And well, I'm going to dive into the code and hopefully bring you that information as soon as possible. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it as that. As I said, the link to the patch notes will be down in the description below. I've been Long Sensation, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.